The painful right thyroid contained multiple hypoechoic areas with ill-defined borders. The echogenicity index was around 70%. Note that the borders are blurred not only between the echonormal and inframed parts of the thyroid, but within the inframed area as well. The painless left thyroid was echonormal and presented a small hypoechoic lesion with the pathognomonic blurred borders. The vascularization was decreased both in the right and in the left lobe. Both the size of the right lobe and the proportion of hypoechoic areas decreased by 50%. The echo pattern of the left lobe remained unchanged. Similarly to the first examination, the vascularization was practically absent according to the hypoechoic lesions. Both the proportion of hypoechoic areas and the degree of hypoechogenicity decreased further in the right lobe. The vascularization became normal. On the other hand, the left thyroid became painful and accordingly the proportion of the hypoechoic lesions increased while the vascularization was decreased in this lobe. The thyroid is minimally hypoechoic or echonormal. Compared with the previous examinations, the proportion of hypoechoic areas decreased substantially. The left lobe has a similar presentation. This pattern now corresponds to an intact, healthy thyroid. This table summarizes the presentations of the thyroid lobes at the four different occasions. First, focus on the right lobe. We can see that at the first examination the thyroid was significantly larger and the extent of hypoechoic areas were also significantly higher at the first compared with the subsequent three examinations. Finally, at the lowest row, the right lobe became almost normal. If we focus on the left lobe, the three right columns in the table we can see an opposite situation. At the first and at the second examination, the thyroid had only a minimal degree of hypoechogenicity, only a relatively small hypoechoic area was present. While at the third examination, the extent of hypoechoic areas have significantly increased. While similarly, to the right lobe, at the last examination, the presentation of the left lobe became also normal.